Welcome to The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hi everyone, I am Venkatesh Chintala, DevOps Research Associate in Miracle Software Systems. Today I am going to explain about uh, continuous integration and deployment to PWS using Concourse. So I am going to cover Pivotal Web Services and its features, what is Concourse and its services that are offering, the complete architecture of a CI and CD onto PWS and followed by live demo. Pivotal Web Services is a hosted environment that is running on AWS. It is a public cloud platform as a service powered by Pivotal Cloud Foundry on which developers can build, deploy, run and scale the applications. It also supports the multiple frameworks such as Java, Spring and Node.js applications so developers can push their code onto PWS in any manner. It also provides different third party services like MongoDB, Radius and so on so that we can consume the service and we can manage service directly from the developer console. So we can also add different cloud services like AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Platform, etc. Coming to Concourse, Concourse is a simple and scalable way to declare your continuous integration as a code. It's compelling because that means the configuration of your build server is known as a repeatable without manual intervention. You can tear down your CI infrastructure and recreate it in a matter of minutes rather than hours or days. So Concourse limits itself to three core concepts like tasks, resources and the jobs that compose them. It also a new kind of CI server that treats pipelines as a first class citizen. It's a streamlined user interface helps you find out what you need to know about your builds as quickly as possible. It controls the inputs to your pipeline so that the results are repeatable every time. Rather than sharing state, every task runs in its own container controlling its own dependencies. Concourse supports customer resource types to extend pipeline in a more effective way. It expresses these interactions as a resources, allowing you to delete your boring plumbing code and focus on your interesting code instead. Now we will see the architecture for CI/CD onto PWS. When the developer commits the code into the GitHub repository, the pipeline itself gets started and flows according to the configuration which we have mentioned in the pipeline.yaml file. The mocha test would be takes the initial step to execute by using the test cases what we have mentioned in the particular dot json file so in my case it is a test pages dot json file if the test case fails then the pipeline terminates itself without any manual interaction on the success case the pipeline moves into the next level which is the dockerizing the entire application so takes place and make the docker image for that application also pushed it onto the docker hub repository by using the credentials what we have mentioned in the pipeline dot yaml file and then next, uh, the third job make artifact, which is nothing but a generating .war file for the application and placed it onto the JFrog artifact local repository. And finally, it moves onto the job four, which is nothing but a, a deploys the application onto the Pivotal web services. And also, for every success and failure case, I have triggered the Slack notification by using a Slack webhook URL. And now we will see the live demonstration. How to automate the deployments onto PWS using Concourse. I have my Concourse installed on my local machine and using that I am going to build a CI CD pipeline onto Pivotal Web Services. Also we are going to run the Mocha test for our deploy Node.js application. So this is my Concourse dashboard and how it is looks like and I am going to show you a sample Node application how we push it on to our Cloud Foundry repository. This is my project directory. And I have my application named as my app. In that I have my AML file with the name of pipeline.yaml on which our entire concourse pipeline is based upon. So basically a pipeline.yaml file is configured with the two sections. One is the resources and another one is jobs. Resources are the objects that are going to be used for jobs in the pipeline. If any time commits are pushed, the resources will detect them and save the new versions of a resource and whereas jobs determine the actions of our pipeline. So in my scenario I have mentioned the source with the name of my app with the type get 
uh, which is used to pull the code from our GitHub repository. In the similar way, I have written the deploying to PWS and dockerizing the application and also maintain the artifact in JFrog Artifactory as well. And also, I have maintained the Slack alert for each and every job. So as we know that, the concourse is based on a fly CLI, which is a command line interface for the concourse. If you observe my concourse dashboard, as of now, I don't have any configured pipelines. So let me configure my pipeline. So by using a fly command, I am going to configure my pipeline. So fly t set pipeline. followed by pipeline name my app followed by the configuration file like pipeline.yaml file and finally the credentials file so apply configuration say yes so coming to dashboard if you refresh the page so you have observed the pipeline. So before I don't have any configured pipeline. So if you observe that, I have the pipeline with my app name. So initially it is in a pause mode. So we need to unpause it. If you unpause this set pipeline, the job will automatically begins. So the job is getting started. We need to wait for it. Let it be complete. And it is done. So this is the flow of node application, how it is deployed under the PWS by using a concourse CI. Yes. So now you can see on my PWS dashboard that the application got deployed successfully. Also the artifact have been pushed down to the JFrog artifactory. And finally, the Docker image into the Docker Hub repository with the name of Docker image. Now on the successful deployment, we can see that a notification has been triggered in our Slack. Next, I am going to fail my test cases to show you the failure message as well. So let me run this job again. Yes, so on the failure, we can see that there is no deployment and the failure message has been generated to Slack. Thank you for watching The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash dlabs.